Okay, so I wasn't going to do the hot springs uh, this early, but I figured there's nobody here. There's nobody here at starting at this point right here instead of going like kind of closer down towards the visitor center. So I'm going to start here and then I'm going to go where I'm able to go and hopefully do all of the Mammoth Hot Springs and then come back to my car. But there's nobody here. Now I'm going to be bringing my GoPro on this one because I don't think I want to bring my camera. <laughs> It's it's heavy and I don't want to dis I don't want to um I don't want to actually dismantle it from the big um, the big lens on it so I'm gonna keep it in the car lock it up lock the baby up and then we're going to head up and start this little hike um, I should probably tr drink some water on this but uh, should I bring some water yeah let's go back in the car and get some water. It's a hike. You always got to get some water. Make sure it's on you. I better go back in the car and get the water. Just because that's my my number one rule is water, water, water. And then second rule is bringing good hiking shoes at the same time. So I better get back and go get that. Now it is cold outside. Just to let you guys know. We, it is Yellowstone National Park and it will be cold in the morning. And then it will just warm itself up like around nine to 10 o'clock. So I got my whole, I finally able to put my puffer jacket on. And of course I bought my little bison hat. So that's, I just, I love my little bison hat, but let's go. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, the reason why there's nobody here is because I'm early. Uh, Cause this is, this is the glory of camping in Yellowstone. It is almost what, 6.30 and because I'm in Canyon Village, I mean Canyon, well, kind of sort of, Canyon Campground, I have to come all the way back down. And that is Mammoth, um, Mammoth Hot Springs. And that's the visitor center and everything. So I'm going back towards the arch and then I have to go all the way towards Lamar Valley. And then come, the, and come all the way back up. But right now there's nobody really here. If you want to come to Yellowstone National Park, and get your shots you get here early but camp in the park and you don't have to do all the extra driving to get up here Another thing about coming early, extremely early in the morning, like around five, six o'clock in the morning, of course, when the sun rises, you can kind of get the good shots you kind of really need it. It's like you can, there's nobody around, but you can hear, finally, nature. That tree is buried in there. And these trees were 
all the way up, but over time, it got molded, like you're seeing right now, into the ground. I say molded, I would say fused. <laughs> if those elk will keep coming if they do keep coming I'll be amazed because then I should just stay where I was and watch them go across but this is a cliff so they can't go that far you know only go so far and come back so they'll go and then they'll come back because there's nothing there's nowhere you can go Yeah, that thing's a little too hot for them. Or... Or they're trying to get something. I'm not sure what it is, but... <laughs>
Okay, so if you do get to the top, come around this little parking spot and you'll get an amazing shot of Mammoth Hot Spring, um, the visitor center and the town. That's, that's a small little community town. And you'll get the shot that you want. And it's, you get up here early, like I said, no one's up here. Yellowstone. When Yellowstone was established in 1872, the Fletching Park was viewed greatly by poachers, railroads, mining interests. In the 19th century, we have seen wilderness as empty land on which to capitalize would, would need to change before these threats would be removed forever. The Army 32-year uh, 32 protection of, Yellow, of Yellowstone from 1886 to 1918 brought time for the new National Park idea to be accepted. And this completely new idea was gaining hold. Wild places came to be viewed as worth protecting for their own unique value. Fort Yellowstone is a tangible reminder of the debt of gratitude we, we all owe, to, owe the United States Army in protecting the legacy of, of Yellowstone National Park and through that, the park idea worldwide. Okay, so this is where so this is where they were at in, in this time right here. And they protect all of this of Yellowstone. And we do, we, we, as humans, we have to really appreciate mother nature and all her glory of, of us giving us this. And also the humans that are dedicated, such as us and us paying our taxes <laughs> that goes to fund the uh, the parks the national parks around all over the united states um this is what our money's going to in protecting these national parks because if we decide to let our greed take over the beauty we're going to be extremely it's it's just going to be you ever saw mad max okay that movie that's what it's going to be nothing but desert land and that's what we don't want to happen to our planet because we only live a certain fraction of a time is this that the the planet will recover it's going to take millions of years if we mess it all up but we are going to perish as as uh as as humanity mankind will perish in that time so that's why we have to hold dear to of, of nature as much as we can including the ocean as well it's very important because the ocean is very important that goes with land as well and we have to protect our ocean we have to protect our corals we th th this is what we have to do as as mankind and ooh, two elks oh these were the two elks i was talking about getting sidetracked but this is what we have to do to protect nature I'm looking at them and they're looking at me and they're like, is that, what is on that child's head? I got my bison head on. But I'm keeping my space here. I don't need to get any closer um, than I need to. All right, we're gonna wrap up our journey as we came all the way back. Went all the way up, went all the way back around, and then we're gonna go back to the car. Let's go. And the crazy thing is, remember those elks? I think they went down this in some form of a way. I think they went off the cliff. I gotta see when I get back to my car, but, cause I have not seen them in, when I went back, when I'm when I was up on the top, I was like, where did they go? So that's surprising. Ah, surprise! I, I want to actually see did they make it back down where my car is? But uh, when I come all the way around, we are going to find out. 
let you guys know this is very steep <laughs> so take your time don't rush but I know it ain't fun coming up it so <laughs> that's why it's best to just use the steps to come the other way where I came use the steps this this right here I know it's going to be <laughs> putting some work on the legs Make sure people stay on the trail. Don't go off the trail. Don't sit over there, take selfies. You stay on the trail. You can already tell there's footprints all in that area. Stay on the trail. guys for watching please keep subscribing to coast guy adventures as i bring you guys more footage from my journey from yellowstone national park also follow me on instagram and also follow me on facebook i do post up a lot of information about the national parks such as road closures and reservations of campgrounds and you should be making those reservations like yesterday if you want to get those and enjoy the parks going forward pretty much until the future that, that there are a lot of these campgrounds are being reservations only and you want to stay on top of that information of when those dates do drop and i do try to post them on my facebook as much as possible so follow me on facebook follow me on instagram um i will see you guys later <laughs>